Uh, what we are doing is to integrate Internet of the Thing and Big Data in, let's say, the management of the desalination plants to know what is happening in every single step of the desalination plant. And this allows us to take the best decision in advance in terms of, uh, let's say, to reduce the specific consumption, to know what should be done in the desalination plant, and to reduce the consumption of chemical in the desalination plant. But and we replicate that as well for the wastewater treatment plants and water treatment plants. As well, in the remineralization, what we are doing is to try to improve the allocation of calcium in the water product that we do, and as well to reduce the turbidity at the same time. This is for the desalination plant. In the wastewater treatment plant, what we are working is, let's say, in the increase of the biogas that we are able to produce uh, with the sludge that we produce in the wastewater treatment plant. This is why, for example, in some of the, of the plants that we are developing right now, we are reaching up to 70% of autoconsumption of the, of, the, of the water treatment plant that we are doing. And as well, what, uh, what we are doing is to reduce the consumption of energy as well in the, in the processes. Promoting a lot of the membrane treatment within the wastewater treatment plant, like for example, MBR, IMM, BBR, and introducing new technologies in the different phases. Yes, for example, in the Fuyera 1 desalination plant that we will and we are doing right now, the operation and maintenance, and we will remain doing that operation and maintenance for the coming 10 years, we are implementing a few of these, of, these, of these new technologies and it's allowing us uh, to reach very low specific consumption in the plant. It's, I think that everybody is looking, let's say, to provide the best world cycle life. I mean, there is a balance between EPC and operation and maintenance. Uh, we do believe uh, that uh, it's a really challenge to reduce the cost and at the same time to reduce the operation and maintenance. This is something that we really give value when, when the client look at the projects as a world cycle projects, in which uh, you don't look only into the EPC cost, but as well you put uh, the EPC plus the 20-25 years of operation and maintenance. Um, Everybody is looking to reduce that. We need to do it together, working together with utility companies and the public and private authorities. And it's a matter of investment in innovation at the end of the day. We do think that is possible. As well, we need to implement some disruptive ideas. I mean, it's not only to improve what we have right now, but to look for new solutions. Okay? And this only can be done if we work together and we invest together in the innovation of the desalination sector. Action Agua has now more than 15 pilot plants running around the world, uh, working in new technologies. Uh, you know, we do think that is a necessary step to be done. Even we used to implement that in some of the projects in a very early stage, if necessary, if we are not sure about how the process will perform. And we do believe that the pilot programs is really important. But what is important as well is to motivate the private company to participate in these RDNI programs. And the way is to define what will happen after this pilot program is reaching certain performance. What will be the next step from the side of the client? If we agree to develop together a pilot plant uh, to, to test whatever technology is for what osmosis and ceramic membranes, and nanotechnology, Internet of the Things, big data, whatever it is, okay, if we reach together as a private and public company certain target, what is next? Uh, you know, are, are we going to be having, let's say, are we going to be escalating this plan to something higher. This will attract the private company as well to participate in this pilot program.